How to sing indie. Right, for the purposes of this video, indie music relates to independent music. So the original definition of indie music was music that um, the band or artist either didn't have a label, they were putting their own music out, or the label that they were signed to was a small label, as in it wasn't affiliated to a big label like Warner, Universal or Sony at that time. So those were the big three and they all kind of became intertwined and all this other stuff was going on that you don't need to know about right now. But indie music as um, the sound would relate to usually guitar based. These days we get synth based indie music um, and it can kind of fall under the genre of rock. Usually but not always, <laughs> okay? So for this video, I'm gonna be re relating to bands like um, Oasis, Arctic Monkeys, Sam Fender, The Snuffs. Now, before we dive in, do hit the notification bell and the subscription button so that you catch all of my future videos. When you have subscribed, go back and, and find my some of my other videos. I've got hundreds of videos on this channel that are going to help you. And I just wanna thank everyone who has already subscribed. At this point, the time of filming now, we are well on our way to 1000 subscribers. So I'm very excited about that. Thank you all. I could not do this without you. And if you are serious about singing, then I encourage you to go ahead and take my free five day singing course. The link is in the pinned comment. All you need to do is pop your details in, click the link, pop your details in, and I'll send that directly to your inbox. So at the time of recording, it, this is February, 2024. These are bands that are heard on indie radio quite a lot. Then we've got other bands like Foles, The Blossoms, um, Tame Impala, um, I can see the guys at Maximo Park, Block Party, all of those types of bands. For female fronted bands, we've got Florence and the Machine, um, London Grammar, um, The Gossip. Um, they kind of fall under the rock genre, but I would, I would personally call them indie. Um, those types of kind of guitar based, sometimes, as I said, sometimes synth, synth based bands. So I hope that clarifies somewhat what I'm going to be covering. Now, indie singing is different from almost all other genres, almost, in that it's very natural based. So the singers of, of indie music, they tend to fall on their natural voice a lot more. What do I mean by that? Um, I'm just gonna make it easy. They use a lot of speaking voice singing, chest voice singing, mixed voice singing, and sometimes head voice singing. Connor from Nothing But Thieves, He's classically trained, so I've heard. His voice it goes very high. He sings in a lot of head voice, um, but is able to sing through his range. I haven't heard him sing in his lower range very much, although I'm sure that he can. So mainly for indie singing, chest voice, speaking voice, mix, um, a bit of head voice, and sometimes twang, but it, it tends to depend on where the singers come from. For example, Liam Gallagher, Tim Burgess from The Charlatans, Alex from Arctic Monkeys, they sing with more of a twang, like an eh kind of sound. And that's also leaning towards the way that they speak. So people from Manchester, they, they have the, I'm not gonna try and do a Manchester accent because I can't, I'm not very good at accents, but I know that they have this kind of twangy sound. I was married to a guy from Salford, which is like just part of, part of Greater Manchester. <laughs> and I have lots of friends from that area. And they do have this, this kind of twangy sound. Hey, ah, kid, that is as much as I'm gonna do. I cannot do a Manchester accent, but it's that kind of ah, ah sound. Maybe I don't really wanna know. And even though Liam's clearly had more training over the years and or, uh, or has practiced more over the years, he still has that twangy, sa twangy sound. And it's, you know, it's become his trademark. Whereas his brother Noel, on the other hand, although they're brothers and they grew up in the same house, he's not quite so twangy. His voice has changed over the years. You can go back and, and listen to it. If you listen to him singing in the Oasis days and then singing um, his 
uh, his from, songs from his latest album, he's clearly had a lot of training and can do different things with his voice. So it's now, as I say, February 2024. I don't know the name of Noel Gallagher's album. I'm not here to promote the Gallagher Brothers, although I did love Oasis. And as I said earlier, um, Tim Burgess from The Charlatans, one to another, sister and a brother, and a change in the way that you're feeling. You can hear it's twangy, it's there. Then we have Sam Fender. Now, Sam Fender, is he's a really good singer. He sings kind of in more of a, a chesty, a chesty, speaky, almost shouty voice. It's very controlled. I don't know if he has, but it sounds like he's had training. He's a very, very controlled singer. Great at what he does. So, I remember the sickness was forever. I remember. So that's more of a speaky, chesty voice. And then The Snuff. So The Snuffs are a new band to me. I think they've been, at the time of recording this video, they've been around on radio probably for about a year and a half. And again, um, don't know the name of the singer. I'm sorry. If you do know, please put it in the comments. And he has he has a higher, a higher voice. And it's it's more of a twang as well. It's more up here. Nah, nah, nah. It's more up there as well. So if you're a singer-songwriter... You might want to develop different parts of your voice. Now, I have taught or I do teach indie singers and um, I tend to teach them everything and then they and then they can choose and take different things on board. But it might lean towards if you have an accent and you want to sing in your own accent. So people that I've taught from the southeast of England, they tend to learn all of the of the techniques. So chest voice, mixed voice, head voice twang and belt um plus the embellishments and then they're able to move move through them and, and use all of the different techniques and going back to Noel Gallagher it sounds like he's done the same thing now female indie singers what I've noticed is that they tend to not always tend to use a bit more vocal technique in their singing so Florence and the Machine PJ Harvey, Haim, Bjork, they've all had some kind of training and they use different, they use actual vocal technique. So it tends to be different for females, but I'm not saying that it should be. That's just what I've noticed. So how do you sing in chest voice or mixed voice or high voice or twang or belt. Well, I do have videos on all of those, but I'll give you a quick demonstration here. So chest voice is where your voice resonates in your chest. If you just put your hand to your chest, tone a low note. Ah. If you feel for it, you might not feel it first time round, but if you feel for it and concentrate on the feeling, you'll feel it. Ah. We have head voice, which resonates up here. That's more of the kind of singy, choiry, classical sound. And then we can blend them together and get mixed voice. Ah. So that's a combination of a tiny bit of head and mostly chest. Then we've got a high mixed voice. Ah. So I've, I've got about a balance, 50-50 balance of chest and head voice. And then we have twang, which I've already demonstrated quite a lot in this video, which is around here. Nah, nah. You can make that kind of sound. Nah. And we have belting, which has been mistaken by many, many, many millions of people for either chest voice pulled up or a shouty voice. It's not. It's still a mix of chest and head, but there's more chest than head. There's about 70 to 80% chest and about 20 to 30% head voice. Ah! So that's a quite a, that's quite a quiet belt. There's a, <laughs> a baby in the house who's asleep, so I don't want to wake her up. It can get a lot louder than that. But if you go to the videos, um, you'll get some demonstrations and some guidance on how to approach those types of techniques. 
So I hope that this video has helped you. Do go to the videos that I've mentioned in the descriptions and watch those because those are going to give you a lot more guidance to each individual technique. So I hope this video has helped you. I'll see you again in the next video. Take care, stay hydrated. Ciao!